You are looking at our live camera at Dodger Stadium. We'll join Ali Wagner once again in just a bit. But meanwhile, Dodger fans are hoping their team comes out on top. Joining me to talk about the other team is Superfan. Super Dave. <laughs> Dave Pelle. Uh, Dave, good morning to you. Thanks for uh, decking out. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. I, I appreciate it. It's exciting, right? I mean, you have the Dodgers, you have the Padres. You always hear about the rival of the Dodgers and the Giants. But this is perfect. If you're a Southern California baseball fan, now this is what you want. You want the Dodgers and Padres. Could you explain your roots to the Dodgers and why you're such a hardcore Dodger fan? Okay, so I love baseball. And I fell in love with baseball at Dodger Stadium as a young kid. And my favorite player was Steve Garvey. I know Steve's coming on soon. Right. And when Steve came to the Padres in 83, believe it or not, I switched teams. I was a Padre fan because I was a Steve Garvey fan. I was heartbroken. Right. My childhood hero left. And you know what? The biggest hit in Padres history former Dodger. Right. Second biggest hit in Padre history, former Dodger, Chris Gwynn, 96. Sure, sure. And so, you know what, there's a connection there, of course, with the Dodgers and Padres. But in 98, I was broadcasting for the flagship for the Padres. I was doing Padre talk. And so there, there are ties there. And everybody was friends with Tony Gwynn. And yeah, I really don't hate the Padres. I just like the Dodgers a little bit more. Can you, just just because you bring yeah. up 98, I was working, yeah. uh, covering covering the Padres. I, I was at Petco Park almost every night for, yeah. uh, for our sportscast. That 98, when they clinched against the Braves, we were talking about this with, uh, I can't, we were having a conversation yesterday about it uh, with Mark Sweeney. Yeah. The volume of Qualcomm Stadium, yeah. when that, as Trevor was getting the, recording the final outs, was Literally, this far apart, I could not communicate no. with my photographer. That is the yeah. kind, there's a whole different kind of excitement that we haven't really experienced yet with this new generation. Team. Exactly right. This is a great sports city when the teams are winning. And I talk to people who travel around and broadcast games and every sport, and they always say the loudest stadium they were ever in was 1984 when Garvey hit the home run. And they say that all the time. Doesn't matter if it was Green Bay, and I know you're a Wisconsin right. guy, right. but they said that stadium at that time was the loudest. But then the 98 team, that 98 World Series, even when they lost to the Yankees, games three and four were insane. Were insane. And that, and I guess, boy, steal a game at, uh, at Chavez Ravine yeah. in one or two, and Friday night is gonna be off the... And I, I think oh. even if they don't steal a game, it's still gonna be crazy, right? And, and, and to be honest with you, I think that whoever wins game one tonight wins this series. That's how big it is, because the Padres get their pitching back in the right order. And speaking on behalf of Dodger Faithful, how yes. nervous are you right now? I'd be honestly a little bit nervous because yeah. everything has gone the Dodgers way, right? You always think it's a matter of time. The Padres, though, haven't won a season series since 2010. The Dodgers won every series this year. They really have the best team they've ever had, 111 wins. And I'll go so far to say, Paul, that if if you don't love the Dodgers, you don't love America. I mean, it's perfect red, white, and blue. <laughs> Thanks. And, and we're going to put it right out there to everybody right. that works at KUSI. Now, I want to thank <laughs> I, I don't get to thank you enough. Sometimes I write you a direct. The, the rapport that you have with your fellow Padre fans on Twitter yes. is first-class humor. It, it, it's, it's absolutely hysterical. Where can people follow you on Twitter? Uh, at Dave Pally. Very, that simple. That, is that, that right simple? There. And it's, it's all for reaction. You know yeah. How, yeah. how it works. But some people go a little far. But otherwise, people get the joke, I think, as far as just, just kind of turning it. I always want people to talk baseball, talk Padres, talk Dodgers, talk whatever team you want. But I, I love it when they're talking about the sports that I love. Wait, 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 your tweet, and I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> butchering it here, but when you say after the final game of the regular season, 111 wins, is that good? Yeah. <laughs> I spit out my, uh, my Twinkie. I, mean, it was, it was, I was all ready to go. If they lost to the Mets, I was going to say, well, now you can prepare for the Holiday Bowl. Let's get the field ready. <laughs> but look, they're still playing. We're still playing, Paul. All right, so uh, just quickly as we wrap yeah. this up, your prediction, please. Um, I got to go with the Dodgers. I mean, the Dodgers won two years ago, three nothing against the Pods. And the, the thing that really hurts the Padres, and I think if you're a diehard Padre fan, no Fernando Tatis Jr. He completely let the organization down. I mean, there's some great people in Peter Seidler, Eric Grubner. There's some people that run that organization that have made it first class. You're talking about a $230 million payroll, and Fernando not to be part of this he would be such an asset to the Padres in the postseason. It, it hurts. And you know so many guys are leaving as free agency. That, that window I know will stay open. But this was a golden opportunity for the Padres this year if they fall short. I don't know, man. They're playing pretty good without them. They're, they're playing pretty good without them. They are. And guys have stepped up. Trent Grisham, Nola, those guys have stepped up. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think Soto has to be the Soto everybody expected for the Padres to win this thing. And you guys are – it seems like you're – Always. A, after, after you get – past the fifth batter in your lineup, I mean, it tapers it, off considerably. It right? has. Uh, Muncy's had a disappointing year. Bellinger's had a disappointing year. It's true. Um, and, you know, as we look 
offense, I think the Dodgers offense is still better than the Padres overall. The Braves offense is the one that scares me. Whoever advances and faces Atlanta, I think in the future, that Braves offense is really good. Dave, thank you so much for writing in. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Well, let's kick it over to the weather wall where Diane is standing by.